guys, hey, so we're about to go into the gym and work out, and Matthew was sitting here talking to me about my, my over, the way I think about my surgery, and the way I think about, uh, my progress, and like, how I feel about myself, and I thought I would let you guys hear what, what he has to say, because he actually has to live with me, and you guys only see like little snippets. What? what am I doing? Tell them exactly what you just said. Like, how how am I, and like, how how do I think about myself, and like, what what do you wish I would do instead? What do I wish you would do instead? Like, how am I all the time about my weight loss? Well, okay, so she started off really heavy, and she needed to lose weight. And when she first started, it was, wow, look at how much weight I'm losing. Wow, this is this is amazing. I've lost 200 pounds. Wow, I'm so proud of myself. I've lost 200 pounds. But then she got stuck at 300 pounds. Left. 300 pounds left. She's already lost 200 pounds, but now she's at 300 for 300 something. And she goes, I'm a failure. I can't get past 300, 300 pounds. I can't get any lower than 300 pounds. I've, I look at how big I've gotten. I've gotten so big. I don't... That, that doesn't... That doesn't make any sense to me. That makes zero sense to me. Oh, I've look at how big I am. And I met you, you were 200 pounds heavier. That doesn't make any sense. What, what I, I, I don't comprehend that. I'm not her, I don't have to live in her body, but I have to live with her. So when she tells me, oh, look at how big I've gotten. Do you think I've gotten really big? I feel like I'm so huge, oh, this is awful. I don't see you as any bigger, I see you as tinier. When I first met you, when I've been with you for the majority of our relationship, you've been 500 pounds, you've lost 200 pounds. This year was difficult, and you haven't really lost any weight this year, but it, you're bound to have bad times. And Nirvana has a problem where she looks at uh, the extremely short term, and she goes, well, this month I've done really good. Oh, I, I lost five pounds this month well that's cool but if you're 300 pounds and you lose five pounds then that could just be five pounds of water weight you might not have lost five pounds at all so next week when you gain five pounds again and you go oh i'm a failure i've gained five pounds back i have to stop eating everything that i've been eating because i gained five pounds back that doesn't make sense to me either because that those five pounds that you just gained was probably water and the five pounds you lost was probably water so you don't really know what you're losing, especially in extreme weights when before you get your surgery and stuff like that and you're gaining, you're losing, and you're like, well, I've lost 10 pounds this week. Well, that, that's good progress. It's good that it makes you feel good, but when you get on a scale and when you see yourself and you go, I've lost this much or I've gained this much, it's, it's not really a good representation. When you look in the mirror and you go, oh, wow, I look skinnier, that's a good representation. When you look in the mirror and you see a tiny bit of difference and you go, I'm huge, I'm so much bigger than last week. That's not a good representation. So, I, I, don't, I don't really know how to convey into exact words how I feel, but I feel like, at least I, I can try my best to describe it a little bit. I feel like uh, your progress is more about your mindset. If you say that, um, you know, today was a bad day. Today was a bad day, and I'm going to do my very best to make tomorrow a good day. It doesn't matter if I lose any weight tomorrow, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to eat right. I'm not going to do this. I am going to do that. I'm going to drink a lot of water, and I'm going to uh, work out really hard. And it's not for losing the weight. It's for the rest of my body. It's for the other parts of my body that matter. My muscles. It's for my heart. It's for this or that. For whatever reasons you do it for, I don't know what you do it for. Um, but if you go in there and you go, well, it's only because I'm losing weight. The only reason I'm working out, and that's not going to last. I guarantee it, it's not going to last. When Nirvana only works out because she's trying to lose five pounds of water weight, it, it doesn't last. But when Nirvana goes to work out because she likes to work out, which she does, she loves to work out, she likes to go work out because it makes her feel better and it helps her depression, then it's going to last. So... You know, it's, it's little things. Well, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to feel good and I'm going to 
like I just said, I'm going to drink a lot of water and I'm not going to eat sweets today and I'm going to try to really moderate the amount I'm eating in general. To the extent that's healthy, I'm going to moderate the amount I'm eating so I can feel my workout. Then it's okay. But it's not okay to work out really hard and then come back and be like, well, I'm still huge and this isn't doing anything for me because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, just doesn't make any sense to me. So that's how I feel. It's kind of jumbled around and mixed up and I don't know if <laughs> half of what I just said makes any sense, but it, it, this, this is never going to really make sense. Nothing is ever going to really make sense. So your husband probably has a lot of different, or your the wife or your partner or even you, even even you yourself, you're probably going to have a thousand different reasons and why you want to do something, why you want to work out, why you want to be healthy, how you want to look. But when you add them all together, they don't make sense. I guarantee it. I want her to work out because I want her to lose weight and because I want her to be healthy and because I want her to be happy. But when she works out really hard and she doesn't lose anything, then she's not happy. And that, that complicates things. So... Like I said, it, it doesn't always make sense. Sometimes you have to just sit there and be like, well, you just do it. So, sorry. Sorry that it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here's her All right, guys. So we're going to go and work out, and I'll talk to you afterwards.